Coach Jones and I go back a long ways. Uh, I was at the 1967 first championship, integrated state championship, which he won. And during that time played, uh, during that tournament, played my home school, Ringo High School, where I was teaching, waiting to go into the military. And I'll share a couple other thoughts later on, but we've known each other for a long time, and uh, he's a very worthy re recipient. It's my honor to present Calvin Monk Jones, who will be inducted to the 2009 Georgia Athletic Coaches Hall of Fame. He is receiving this award today for the many accomplishments he achieved during a successful and extraordinary coaching career as a high school basketball coach. He not only distinguished himself in education, religious and civic activities, but also in the advancement of high school athletics in the state of Georgia. Coach Jones grew up in Atlanta, Georgia and received his high school education at Booker T. Washington High School. He was an outstanding athlete and attended Tuskegee University where he played basketball. He, he's a little man, but he could really play. He continued his education at Atlanta University and the University of Georgia. His 34-year coaching career began in Georgia in 1958 when he returned to Booker T. Washington High School where he coached the varsity girls basketball team for two years. And coach, my first year in high school was girls basketball also at Ringo High School in 1971, so we got some things in common. His coaching talent was immediately recognized as he recorded 33 victories with only 11 losses during this time. Coach Jones then accepted a position as head boys basketball coach at Carver High School where his success continued as his team won the last city championship for blacks in the 1965-66 season. The following year, his Carver Panthers won the first integrated state basketball championship in AA competition in our state. The next year, Carver won the state runner-up title during his third, and during his third year, Coach Jones won his second state championship with a team that averaged 115 points a game. The record that year was 31 wins and only one loss. Amazingly, the team set a scoring record against Grady High School when they scored 172 points. That's in 32 minutes, folks. The record that year was 31 wins and only one loss. It has been said the 1967 team at Carver was unquestionably the best boys basketball team in the country at that time. The success Coach Jones achieved at Carver is particularly important as he accomplished these amazing feats without having a gymnasium in which to, in which to practice for his games. In 1975, Coach Jones joined the basketball coaching staff at the University of Georgia where he served as an assistant to Coach John Guthrie. He was one of the first African-American coaches employed by Coach Vince Dooley's staff working as a recruiter for the Georgia Bulldogs after three and a half years. Coach Jones returned to high school coaching, completing his high school coaching career at George High School in Atlanta where his teams won several region championships. It was my task to try to beat them in 1986 in the state quarterfinals and uh, if you if you uh, if you want to see a coach that knew how to use the talent that he had it was coach Jones because they trapped pressed run and jump pushed the basketball up and down the floor and uh, he didn't set back in a zone he played basketball and his teams got after it and because he was that kind of guy we were blessed that night to win Coach Jones. I may be the only coach in the state that's got a winning record against you. <laughs> His entire high school coaching record from 1962 to 1997 was 886 wins and 224 losses. 886 wins and 224 losses. His teams won eight city championships, two state championships, one runner-up title and 10 regional championships. Throughout his career, Coach Jones has been honored in many ways for his outstanding career and his contributions to high school athletics and his community service. Among his many honors are numerous Coaches of the Year awards. Mayor Ivan Allen, Governor Lester Maddox in the state of Georgia honored Coach Jones and his Carver basketball team at the state capitol. He was inducted into the Tuskegee, Tuskegee University Athletic Hall of Fame 
and has received alumni awards and honors from that institution. Coach Jones received a bicentennial award as he was named one of America's top black men for his accomplishments as a coach. He was inducted into the SIAC Sports Hall of Fame and Carver High School Hall of Fame. The Atlanta Tip-Off Club named him High School Coach of the Year, recognized him for his outstanding contributions to basketball, and honored him as one of the winningest coaches in Georgia. The Atlanta Public Schools established a lecture series in his honor so that generations to come will learn of his contributions to the field of athletics and the arena of civil rights. Last year, the Calvin C. Jones Gymnasium was renamed for him at a dedication service at Carver High School. Coach Jones' stellar coaching years are not only filled with an abundance of championships, awards, and titles, but also with the intangibles which marked his illustrious career. He will be remembered for his great coaching talents as well as, well as the positive influence he had on countless numbers of young men and women in our state. Teachers and coaches are put in a position to be a difference maker. Calvin Jones has been a big difference maker at Washington, Carver, and George High Schools, the city of Atlanta during a difficult time, and the entire state of Georgia. It is my pleasure to present Coach Calvin Monk Jones as he accepts his induction in the Georgia Athletic Coaches Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.